you guys. So I'm moving from California to Kansas because California rent is getting real ridiculous. And I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't, what is that? I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> So we're moving to Kansas, but before that, I need to teach my child to be outside because she's an indoor cat. So I ended up buying like a little kitty carrier before we made the move so she could get used to being in the little carrier and hopefully like, so she would be less stressed. By the way, we like, the road, the trip was like awesome. It wasn't as bad as I was like having so much anxiety of like, how am I gonna move all this stuff? And how is kitty gonna like, get like stressed or whatever should we get on the plane or should i move in the car we ended up deciding um doing a rental car and here's kitty like protesting like get me back home <laughs> she looked cute though walking in the leash but she does she did seem to like her little carrier bag because it felt like the safest uh so when she was outside she definitely was like her more like her comfort <laughs> which is cute because i was like uh she had like a bigger carrier but it was kind of harder to carry around. So this was ideal. I actually got it on Etsy. I thought it was super cute. And it has like a letterbox container at the bottom. Here is the second day of my child. And if you see her whiskers kind of chopped off is cause I, I'm like horrible at grooming her. And I haven't taken her to a professional groomer and I accidentally cut her whiskers. So yeah. <laughs> She is a ragdoll kitty. She's so super cute. So here's my apartment cleared out and a beautiful apartment. It's just that the rent's keep getting higher and higher and higher. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense for me to like stay here anymore. And we packed the car to the brim and now we're on the road uh, for most of the part, if not actually all the part, for all the road, uh, Kitty would sleep on uh, Curtis's feet. Look at my child, look at her cutie eyes. So we're in Arizona, this was the first stop. We ended up getting a hotel. It made more sense for resting. I was like, I, I still want to sleep my eight hours if possible. I'm not used to getting hotels though, so I didn't know that like whatever time you check in, you still have to check out at 11 in the morning. So I was like, what? So here's a little litter box place that I had her thingies at. And we ended up going to Quartzsite, Arizona. One of the employees at the hotel told us that they have like crystal shows. And I was like, let's stop by there. I ended up getting a pendant and some crystals. I love looking at crystals. So <laughs> I guess like once a year, in the beginning, I think of January, they get all together around Quartzsite and then uh, sellers like display all their crystals and stuff. So it's like a big event. And I was like, I love buying crystals. <laughs> and I like looking at crystals. I was like, we should stop by. 23 miles. Sometimes we get like a lot of traffic in the freeways. It wasn't like a big deal though. Um, not like Cali traffic. I feel Cali traffic is like the worst. Uh, there was definitely a lot of trailers on the road, but my best, like I think the best part was where it was like mostly like alone and there's like no cars, uh, kind of like this. The parts that gave me anxiety is when there was foggy weather to the brim. And um, the second day we we had to like, I felt like it was like five or six and it was like so foggy. I was like, let's get a hotel because this is looking scary. I can't even see the road. Kitty stayed with Curtis the whole time. Now we're in New Mexico. I want to live in Mexico again. <laughs> yeah, so there was this little Indian shop. I was like, let's stop by here. I ended up getting this bracelet. I thought it was super cute. Apparently it's like the sun. So I thought it was really cute. Yeah, these are some other locations. And it looks like a spacecraft. Look at it. Ah, look at my child. She's so, so cool. Her little cutie eyes. Remind me of Larimar Crystals. Look at my child. Look at my child. You guys, she is currently nine years old and I adopted her at eight years old. Yeah, she was put out for adoption. I was like, my cousin's like, do you want a kitty? I was like, yes, I do. So now we're home and that was it. So now she gets to rest. I hope you guys enjoyed this like little video of like the little road trip that we took. If you guys are moving, I wish you guys the best. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>